Leslie, can you talk to us more about the relationship between yoga and the community? Um, this has actually been my life's work. Um, when I first started out on this path 25 years ago in South Florida, there wasn't very much of a yoga community going on. And I know it's like that in pockets of the world all over the place. People are on this spiritual journey. They're learning the poses and um, learning about the history and the philosophy. And they're doing the work sort of like solo. Um, and it's not easy work when you're trying to um, awaken your consciousness, when you're trying to make yourself feel better and be less stressed and change your habits and change your thinking, make your body healthy. Um, it's really not easy work to do on, your, on the path by yourself. So um, I set out to, um, to fix that problem and create community around me. So find other people in the South Florida community that were um, on the same path and work on ways that I could not just um, just hold regular classes like a lot of places were but to like get people to gather and come together and connect like I said earlier um, like we need each other you know yeah. and so when you're on a spiritual journey to have support there's like really nothing like it other people you can talk your stuff out with um, when you're having these like um, like awakenings and you're having these like you know I moments where you like realize that something has, has changed in you, like you want to be able to turn to someone, a friend, and be able to share it. And in that sharing and in that communication, um, there becomes a collective energy. And so my life's work has been to create a community in South Florida, and there is a thriving, like amazing yoga community in South Florida now 25 years later.